Okay, we're in the garage. We're in the small garage. We're on the south wall of the small garage. On the other side of this wall is the electric meter that you saw with the condensing unit video and I think the exterior video a little bit. But here we are, and this is what we call the load center. All together is a load center. By itself, that's a service panel. Breaker box, call it what you will. What we have here is the manufacturer has this idea that we should have duplicity. So we have AC number one, AC number two right here. We should have AC number one, AC number two over here. The manufacturer thought that would be a pretty good idea. Also, the manufacturer and the code okay, think that these labels, these breakers, should be printed. Not block printing that you learned in school, or I learned in school back in those days. Uh, do, you do cursive yet? They don't even teach cursive in school. No, but it's supposed to be printed right here where it says Eaton and, and uh, Cutler Hammer. Where it says, see where he says that? See where it says uh, electric cabinet front? Okay, that's printing. The manufacturer thinks that these should all, and the code, the International Residential Code, thinks that these should all be printed, not handwritten. What I'm not seeing here is I'm not seeing the bonding location. Now, I usually find it at the water heater, but I've already seen the water heater. You haven't seen that video yet, but the, when you see it, I don't see electrical bonding for the water heater. I don't know where the electrical bonding is for this system. Okay, all these cables coming in here, cables and wires, that's called bundling. All right, it's very common. Even I hate discounting my work, but even the illustration that I'm going to bake into the inspection report says that's a very common deficiency. That big hole is for L1 and L2 to come in, like right here. But, you know, the box comes off the shelf. We don't know. Maybe it comes in here. Maybe it comes in there. So that's why we have these knockouts here. So we can install this panel, this cabinet, in, you know, different locations. See all these small twist outs around all this mouse dookie? Is that mouse dookie or is that um, gecko dookie? Uh, you see the geckos or mice. I'm thinking maybe geckos. I don't know if you see a dead one in here or something. But anyway, see all these little, sometimes we call them twist outs, sometimes we call them, you know, um, punch outs, okay, knockouts, all right, because you're supposed to bring in two cables at a time. See over here, I mean, that's, that's one cable at a time. You can bring one in. You're not supposed to bring in more than two cables at a time. And they brought in all these cables over there. It's called the skin effect. Again, it's very common. Every house on the street has been done that way. My house has been done that way. My house is 1964. My house is not for sale. You should not have to live like me. But this house has bundling in it, and that's a deficiency. Where L1 and L2 come in, they're supposed to be neoprene boxes, or neoprene covers, boots, if you will. If you don't know that's hot, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get that. We're supposed to have those little rubber covers on there. We don't have our little rubber baby boogie bumpers. Okay, coming on along, we got AFCI in the bedrooms only. When this home was built, AFCI was only required in the bedroom, so that's where we have it. This is an occupied home, so we're not going to push those buttons, and we're not going to uh, disrupt people's computers and phones and clocks and um, you know, medical equipment. Take your pick. Okay, coming on along here, this is uh, the condensing units. Um, they're both rated as, uh, one's rated as a maximum of 30 amps and one's rated as a minimum of 30 amps. So, the, now the one that was rated as a minimum of 38s, he's, he's under fused. Okay, now here's the catch. Here's the catch. The manufacturer says 30 to 50, so there you go. You got 30. You got that much. The manufacturer wants to see the largest size breaker. So, well, uh, the units are... 15 to 16 years old, they're about to be replaced. Do you think the new units are going to use the same size breakers? I don't. I think they're going to be a lot more efficient. I think these these breakers, some of them might even be oversized. So, you know, just replacing the breaker on a 15, 16 year old air conditioning system, I don't know if that's your wisest move. It, it, it might be an unnecessary exercise. Now, See the white cables coming in here? Those are hot. If you don't know that's hot, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get that. But there's somebody wrapped with black tape. See your neutral right here, your main neutral coming in? It's wrapped with white tape. Now, if you didn't know that was a neutral, again, you don't belong in this cabinet. But it was wrapped with white tape because the code said it was supposed to be in these. I didn't wake up this morning and just decide, how can I just like get everybody mad? I'll talk about wrapping some wires with some tape. No, I don't do that. Okay, you're supposed to have black tape on those. And the statistical relevance of that, that's between you and the electrician, I guess. Now, here's another thing about this cabinet. It was screwed into place. Screwed into place. Alright? Screws are faster, screws are tighter, I get that. 
And if a tornado blows up your garage, you've already got a bad day. I get that too. But nails have much more sheer strength. And the manufacturer has a picture of a hammer driving a nail in to install the cabinet. If the manufacturer thinks that nails should be in the cabinet, again, I didn't wake up this morning and say, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to talk to everybody about the screws in their cabinets. It's just like, yeah, that's not the way I operate, but this cabinet was screwed in. It's okay, it's okay today, but in a tornado blows up your garage, you already got a bad day. But if it was nailed in, it would be more likely to stay attached to some kind of a framing member. So they come down in a big piece, so the first responders won't have to sit around a little sparky box flying all over the floor when they're coming in trying to help you. And that's, that's the whole idea about the nails. I don't know if they'll ever get put in there, but I'm here to tell you about it. So anyway, so what did we learn? We learned that our bonding location is not labeled. We learned that our cabinet was screwed into place. We learned that we've got bundling and our cables are touching the cabinet covers. We learned that we've got some white hots that aren't wrapped in black tape. And that's about it. So black could be the hot normally, right? Yes. Yeah, see, this is, these are both hots, but they got over, you know, because it's L, these are 220. Yeah. So you've got, you know, two ways, and that's how you differentiate between the two of them, but it should be marked with a black mark slot or black tape or however you want to yeah. do it so that everybody knows that that's hot. And if you don't know that's hot, again, you don't belong in this cabinet. You know, it kind of seems like an exercise, and it might be, but, um, you know. Especially with people. Right.